Hello doctors, this is a session on how to utilize the in vivo 5 imaging software by Anatomage and how to trace the nerve and remove any doubts that really anyone can do this. The software comes with lots of bells and whistles and most of the time we just use these tabs on the top. You can always start with the volumetric rendering and turn the jaw back and forth, left and right. And as you can see on the left side, we've already traced the nerve, placed an implant. And now I'm going to teach you how to do that for the right side. There is a tab called the arch section, which we utilize to trace the nerve. And as you can see, there's basically three views. To read a CAT scan at first, it, it's very difficult, uh, but then you understand that it's basically not that difficult. You got the cross-cut, cross-sectional views. That's basically if you take the mandible, slice it, and you're looking side view. Here is the occlusal view of the ridge, and you can move it back and forth, up and down. Okay, all right. And also the panoramic view. The benefits of having the panoramic view is that uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So as we begin to move these little dots here, you can see that the, the nerve canal either appears or it disappears. So we're actually defining the uh, ratio right here of the slices, okay? To trace the nerve is very easy. You basically move this crosshair to the point of the mental foramen, which I've placed right here, and you can start drawing the nerve as easy as one, two, three, starting out from the cross-sectional view and continuing with the panoramic view of the inferior alveolar canal. By double-clicking, you've defined the nerve. And if we go back to the volume rendering, it is automatically placed within the software. This is really one of the benefits uh, of user friendliness of the Anatomage that I have favor over other softwares, so I'm a little bit biased. Next session, we will do a quick tutorial on how to place an implant for a surgical guide. Thank you for your time. Take care.